Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lyle's Friday Podcast here at CNS Corvettes. Got an interesting job that came in this week. It's something that I've talked to you guys about several times before. In fact, if you've watched my video about things to look for when buying a C5 or a C6 Corvette that may cause you trouble in the future, well, you're probably going to remember me talking about the harmonic balancer on a C5s and C6s. Uh, I had a job come in this week that really illustrates why this is so terribly important. And I've actually got some of the pieces and pictures from that job here just to reiterate to you why it's so important that you look down at that balancer from time to time to make sure it's not doing this. Because if it's doing this, then what's happening is you have two pieces to this. You have the outer weighted ring, you have the inner mount, and then there's a rubber vulcanized seal that goes between these two that is supposed to hold them together. Doesn't always last. So they start out here as one piece, but what happens is as this starts to walk, the center piece isn't moving. The center piece stays, but the weight, the weighted ring, is pushing back toward the engine. Now, I've told you that if that goes unchecked for long enough, what's going to happen is this is going to work its way back into your engine and your oil pan. And that is precisely what happened with this customer's car. Mind you, this was a 98 Corvette convertible with 36,000 original miles. The thing was pristine. This is just age and part failure. So take a look at the back of this. You notice how this is shiny? Where everything else is black, it's shiny around this edge. Look at this picture behind me. See this curve right here? That is where the harmonic balancer had walked back into the engine uh, timing cover plate. And then you see this thin metal here, that's the oil pan gasket. And this down here is the oil pan. You can actually see some of the rubber left over from the harmonic balancer as it was scraping off of here. Now, this is an optical illusion because this block sits about an inch forward of everything else we're looking at. But the key here was the complaint from the customer was they heard a scraping at the front, which we know was the harmonic balancer, but they also had a pretty bad oil leak at the front, which not uncommon on a car of that age for the oil pan to have a leak. But come back over here and I'll show you why. This is the oil pan gasket from their car. This right here is rough. That is that. So because this was dragging on here, it caused a quite a it caused a great deal of heat to transfer. Now look down here. And you can see right here where that heat caused this rubber to separate from the metal of the gasket. So this was loose, so we had oil pouring out of here, dribbling down the front and blowing back all along the surface of this oil pan. Guys, I can't reiterate enough, these cars are fantastic deals. They are incredibly inexpensive for what they can do. However, couple of things like this you really 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 need to keep an eye on if you already own one of these cars before you put this car away for the winter or before you pull it out of storage in the spring to start driving it take a look at that balancer and make sure it is not doing the beginning of the death wobble if it is replace it do the tensioners for both belts do the guide pulleys for both belts and realistically probably do both belts as well any questions about this job, please call me. We do probably two or three a week here. Dr. Ray is incredibly proficient at this, but please, 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 before you put your cars away up north for the winter, get a good look at this so that you can have a plan before your car hits the road in the spring. Don't forget to like and subscribe down here so that you guys know when I'm making a new video. Again, your feedback, your comments, and your views are what allow us to make more videos. We don't get paid to do this. This is above and beyond what we do here at the shop. So, you know, the more you support us, the more we can support you. I appreciate it. I look forward to talking to you again. Uh, get a hold of me at Lyle at 800-886-5064 or at Lyle at, C at, uh, duh, Lyle at CorvettePartsCenter.com. Can you tell it's Friday and it's late? All right, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.